how long you have to do what is this oh. hello everybody uh, today we will speak in english and uncle best ma english because we will have uh, amazing guests already they came <laughs> It's Michael Kaligrix and Trisha Croft. Uh, and uh, this Friday, just uh, let me know if you hear us properly and good. I will check, so write down if you are, if you hear us. Uh, so, uh, this Friday we're starting the amazing retreat with Michael Kaligrix and Trisha, mm -hmm. Tantra Movement School. And uh, we want to share with you our energy uh, and some practices at the end mm -hmm. uh, and we will go with the flow we don't know you can also have some questions so if you have some questions just write down here uh, if you don't hear us also write down that you don't hear or if you hear just uh, send some hearts to us that you are with us and you hear us uh, good no not too much sounds around uh, mm -hmm. so uh, Michael and Trisha welcome to Lithuania to this park in, yeah. in Vilnius yeah. <laughs> if you are around you can just go uh, in the park and watch us from the in life not uh, <laughs> yeah life and life <laughs> life and life uh, I want to ask some questions also we already had uh, hello everybody we already had amazing life uh, on Facebook but lives are always different and uh, we don't know where we will flow tonight but uh, we are here live mm. together <laughs> so it's already stronger than uh, one side and another side in different countries mm. so one more time introduce yourself uh, for people who don't know you maybe uh, Michal and Trisha both uh, separately <laughs> yeah Okay, so I'm Michal Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement. Uh, I experienced Tantra since uh, 15 years uh, and uh, I teach uh, since 10 years uh, more and more intensively. Um, since five years I have uh, my school, uh, Tantra Movement School uh, in Koh Phangan in Thailand. A uh, very beautiful uh, spiritual, tantric, vortex, uh, paradise, island. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in a beautiful country, Thailand, uh, full of nature, ocean, uh, jungle, uh, waterfalls. Uh. So yes, um, um, I um, we are fascinated, uh, especially with Trish, uh, to guide uh, the aspect of tantra, what is uh, into the conscious relationships, uh, to bring more happiness, more uh, awareness, uh, to support uh, couples uh, into growing. Uh, into more uh, beautiful life and using the power of the couples uh, mm -hmm. for uh, in tantric purpose uh, yes uh, so yes uh, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes people asking me what kind of tantra i teach uh, and uh, yes uh, i teach my tantra uh, what i like you to learn it's your tantra so I like to inspire you, uh, share with you my experience and I wish this experience would uplift you and you, you will find the Guru, the Master within yourself. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, for me Tantra it's uh, learning how to love uh, better and doing it. Uh, and uh, loving better uh, yourself, it starts always from yourself, but uh, loving better your partner, that's uh, the power uh, what you use in Tantra that uh, you actually uh, one plus one is not only two uh, we multiply millions billions uh, so we uh, use the power of the connection in the conscious relationship mm -hmm. to grow to heal ourselves to liberate ourselves from the conditions what we didn't choose and to expand in love and grow in ecstasy it's uh, yes this love what we have in the couples uh, we use also to help us to go through the all triggers and uh, all the processes mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we can mirror each other we can grow together so yes um, mm, that's that's uh, um, most important uh, loving better 
uh, and then it expands all to loving nature, loving neighbors, loving friends. Uh, it's uh, uh, yes, we're happy to be here uh, uh, again in uh, Lithuania. Uh, it's Trisha's first day in uh, Vilnius, yeah. and we love this city because it's uh, so uh, like a city in the forest. I think. Uh, uh, you know, like this is in the center uh, here, you know, like uh, in the center, people canoeing, uh, enjoying the forest. It's like being on holidays, but you don't have to go from the city. I think every city should look like uh, Vilnius. Uh, uh, I feel, uh, yes, it's great. Uh, we cannot be on this land here. So, yes, uh, my love, uh, a little what was bit the about question? yourself. You introduce <laughs> yourself, who are you, and what you're doing, and why. <laughs> so, my name is Trisha, Trisha Croft, and um, what I'll be doing at the festival is um, helping teach with Danguela and Mihal, um, learning, teaching you guys about. Um, how to love yourself better, how to um, embrace your life, um, follow your soul mission, follow your path, your true path, your true north. And um, we'll be doing beautiful ceremonies and rituals up on Danguala's beautiful temple space on her beautiful land. And um, yeah, teaching you, introducing you to Tantra, a way of life. A, um, yeah. And my background, my background is Tantra, um, Egyptian Tantra, Egyptian mystery. And um, yeah, I, I t I've been teaching for the last, um, gee, oh God. <laughs> a lot of years. A lot, a lot of years. <laughs> a lot of years in spirituality, energy work, um, Kundalini, um, um, esoteric, a lot of esoteric work, witchcraft, um, yeah, Tantra. Um, so I'll be bringing a lot of my wisdom and knowledge into um, your practice and, your, and teaching you a lot about my wisdom and the mysteries um, mm -hmm. and opening up the path for you. This so, is very yeah. interesting about uh, Egyptian Tantra because mm. uh, all people know about Tantra from India or maybe from Thailand, uh, Bali and uh, everywhere there. Yeah. And uh, also a little bit uh, like kind of different, but still the same Tantra is Dao, yes, in, in China. Yeah. Yeah. But Egyptian Tantra was very new for me. Yeah. Like also there was ancient Tantra and uh, what kind of differences are between yeah. East, uh, East um, Asia and Egyptian. I think, I think when we look at the history of um, the mystery schools, because this is where it all came from, the mystery schools, and um, ancient Egypt, you know, they, these, these civilizations, they, they all, when you really look at the, um, the history and the philosophy and the teachings, they're all quite similar. It's because they used to trade and, and um, with their boats and their ships and, and, and um, learn from each other. And um, Egyptian Tantra is um, quite same, same, but different. But um, it, it goes into a lot of magic and a lot of um, um, outer realms and, and learning about your energy that we're not just, just a physical... Um, body we, we are more than just we have five seven bodies within us and and it um, you know Egyptian Tantra it goes into where we go into sex magic the, the mysteries the spells the um, being able to bend and shift um, nature or bend at will um, things, having being able to find the power within mm. and also then the power without you know, around us, so yeah. That's... I already want uh, to do a retreat just for Egyptian tantra <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, for women, yeah. no yeah, yeah, witchcraft. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I it, want to yeah. do. <laughs> and it, it, it's, it's um, you know, so we, it's like um, so Indian tantra or Taoism and um, 
the Egyptian mysteries, you know, we, we, we know at the ancient, ancient um, Egypt, they, they had um, these mystery school teachings that were beyond our capability, um, where they knew that we were more than the senses. I mean, nowadays we have, we know we have the sixth sense, but back then they had 208 senses that they activated. You know what I mean? So, so their capability and their um, what they were capable of, they knew their potential. And um, to bring that history of that mystery school into the modern now, is it's where the magic it, it lies. It's, it's, it's bringing um, the old into the new and, and making way for, well, what can we do with this old um, knowledge to make way and path the way for the new world, for the new way. And, wow. and make it our own, and that's where we stand. You know? and, I, and and you'll see with Tantra, now we've opened up to Neo-Tantra, and it's it's a way of we're trying to branch out to find a new way instead of being dogmatic. We're trying to, and we always do that through history. We always change. You know? yes. We're always changing. So. Yeah. People, yeah. <laughs> if you want... Uh, to know more about Egyptian Tantra, just follow Light of Rem Lemuria. Uh, Lemuria, yeah, Light yeah, of yeah, Lemuria. Yeah. Now we are having live on my Instagram, but still, if you are interested into Tantra, you have to know all the uh, light, bright persons who do, who does that. Just mm -hmm. Light Beautiful. of Lemuria, yeah. uh, Trisha Croft. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, we are, we catched a little bit about Neo Tantra, and people are asking me. A lot of questions about what, yeah, the same. Uh, what kind of tantra you teach, or what kind of tantra will be uh, in re in the re retreat, or or what kind of tantra Michal teach? And you say my tantra. So, is are there some differences between white, pink, black? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. Tantra. What that's is all about? Because for me, it's like. Tantra is Tantra. It's you confusing. Yeah? you yeah. just choose what you want and you just uh, not uh, take what you don't want from every workshop, from every teacher. Yeah. Yes? yes. So what are the differences? White, pink, red, black? So uh, yes, Adi. Uh, uh, I would say <laughs> yes, yes. So the differences are uh, uh, different from uh, the perspective uh, of uh, the different school, what you look. So the colors also may mean something different. So basically, yes, um, I will just focus on uh, what uh, we teach. Uh, the closest what we teach is uh, we are to the Neo Tantra. Uh, Neo Tantra is uh, the Tantra, what like in the time uh, with yoga, uh, was brought to the um, Western countries uh, by the hippies who were going for the uh, hippie trips uh, in Asia. And they were fascinated by, uh, with the uh, ancient knowledge, wisdom and practices like Tantra and Yoga, and sexual Tao, Tao in general, Buddhism, whatever. And uh, yes, um, with Tantra and Yoga especially, uh, the people, uh, modern people were more interested uh, with uh, exploring uh, more practical for modern people aspects of uh, those uh, teachings. Uh, so they were a little bit less uh, interested with uh, exploring the goddesses and gods of uh, Hindu and, uh, uh, or Tibetan, uh, Buddhism, whatever. Uh, they were more interested about uh, the um, mainly like the sexuality aspect like uh, uh, of Tantra and using uh, the power of love and relationship of Tantra in the uh, like in the uh, connection with uh, uh, the partner with the lover so 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 that's what more mainly we are focused uh, on uh, ex yes basically experiencing this and so and um, yeah um, uh, also like we are um, using everything what support your process in basically uh, learning how to love better and doing it uh, so so if there are some uh, practices from uh, sexual Dao, for example, we use them a lot uh, to support basically your growth, your uh, experience, your connection with uh, uh, your partner. Uh, yes, if there is some uh, in the contemporary dance or in the 
uh, yoga or in uh, any other uh, like even theater playing or whatever uh, if this supports uh, uh, your experience about different aspects of Tantra we used uh, everything what uh, uh, uplift you, uh, what uh, empower you. So, so that's uh, like yes. And you mentioned a beautiful word, magic. Yes, uh, um, we want to give you some uh, experience of uh, magic uh, after uh, at the end of the uh, this life. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna guide you into uh, tantra, kriya, yoga, breath uh, uh, with uh, some. Um, uh, affirmations it's coming from uh, Kaula Tantra another path uh, it's uh, more from Hindu but very shamanic uh, uh, path uh, also it's uh, so it's uh, yes beautiful you know like it's uh, I was lucky to study at Rasayana Tantra Academy but actually I got uh, some of the best teachers uh, uh, from different streams different paths uh, giving me the best and I could take from them this what I loved, what I feel like the best can uplift uh, uh, me and uh, my students, and then I can share it. Like uh, uh, and some of the things, uh, yeah, it didn't fit me, and so uh, that's the same. Like yes, some of the things you may like it, but some of them maybe not at that moment, maybe later, maybe not at all. And that's fine. That's we teach through experience, and if through experience you get best for yourself uh, out of it, yes? With some things, yes, you just have to get used to it or have to uh, practice to get the full power of it. But or that's go, uh, with everything. Fair, yes, yes, yes. Sometimes I see that uh, as much teachers we have, as much Tantra types we have. Oh, yes, because yes, definitely. Because every yeah. teacher teaches uh, different mm -hmm. and takes yeah. something what they need and then mm -hmm. they share. This is the most important. Yeah. This is the most important. Yeah. But for other teachers, maybe another things are yeah. important. No? Yeah, it's um, the path to experience, and many people uh, coming to tantra with different also intentions. So for me, the intention is very uh, big to make uh, to learn how to love better and do it, uh, and uh, with mirror of my partner, I can uh, practice it uh, on every day, and I can. Uh, do it, I can go through our triggers and uh, um, learn how to do it in the better way, otherwise it will uh, not last. And uh, So find the ways, uh, find the happiness that we grow together, that we amplify, that we support each other on our uh, missions, on our passions, you know, like that we support uh, each other on happiness, that we grow together and basically we also another part of uh, 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 aspect of Tantra, what we really love is uh, 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 create the honeymoon forever. Uh, that's how it's supposed to be. And we guide uh, ourselves and couples into it. That's uh, what we very passionate about with Trisha, especially. No, the, like, I think um, being conscious, Tantra brings more consciousness to what you do. It makes you question why do I do what I do? Why, why, and and your belief? Is this my belief, or is it a condition that was put onto me by my parents, my society? It it, it brings <clears throat> awareness to what you do, to the food you eat, to um, the thoughts you think, the way you feel. Why do I feel a certain way? It it, it brings awareness awareness consciousness and um, I think this is the key to spirituality it, it is the, the key to be completely conscious and we, we don't want to be all enlightened because we know that's impossible because we're here to have a human experience we're not here to be Jesus we're here to be human but also to be in our divinity as well and that's what Tantra is all about is to accept your humanness but also to embrace your divinity. And when you can do both of these things, and that's, that's true awakening. That's, that's, that's the, the golden path. And I think we're all, all looking for that. Uh, sometimes I see that there are five or six parts or aspects of life where Tantra should be. For example, food and eating. Do you agree? 
how how it's with yeah. food, what uh, what we should eat, and uh, what is tantric eating? Eating is it? Uh, Can so it be or no? Of, uh, for me, uh, yes, of course it is. Uh, but uh, also on many, also like everything have some aspects. It's like. Uh, uh, some uh, meaning of tantra is like waiting and uh, waving uh, together like the fab uh, fabric different aspects to, uh, uh, into one beautiful piece and sometimes all these aspects we have to wait and for example yes you mentioned the food but you can uh, feel about the food from the aspect of health yes uh, um, me myself I eat many fruits uh, because this gives me the most power and when I'm in Copangan it's really easy and it really feels naturally I didn't make uh, this last choice from the um, whatever it's just my body feels like you know uh, I love mangoes uh, papayas uh, bananas uh, and it grows just there so um, but uh, like for me very important aspect of food and that's what also i provide uh, i request at my uh, retreats uh, during my teachings is that uh, we eat uh, more consciously loving uh, the uh, others like the animals the hungry children uh, the uh, we uh, love uh, mother nature we uh, take care that the climate change for better and so uh, so so uh, yes one of the great choice of uh, doing it uh, is a uh, vegan diet and that's uh, you know like we bring the uh, level of love not only just uh, uh, love to myself what is very important and beautiful love with my partner but also mm -hmm. amplify that you know like but we uh, bring it to also like a little bit global level mm -hmm. that uh, Yes, we love animals, we love uh, these hungry children, you know, like every time when we choose for the uh, vegan meal, uh, imagine uh, uh, six or even 12 uh, hungry children eating uh, with you, thankful your choice. So every time when you do that, you can imagine that and this is the reality what you are actually creating for those children. They, uh, thankful this uh, choice, they can be able to eat. So also like the, it's one of the best way of uh, impacting for the climate change. Uh, it's like, uh, so it's like we are living in the times that, uh, yes, uh, we uh, need to take care. And yes, for me, it's like very important. Uh, uh, it's, I love, it. we all sing Pachamama songs and uh, uh, everywhere uh, and uh, uh, so, bringing this to the real actions it's also like and yeah for me it's i'm also saying like this is uh, me putting the seeds you know like usually my retreats uh, last uh, uh, sometimes uh, like this one would be uh, nine ten days uh, we would be together uh, that's beautiful you know but um, yes um, uh, even these ten days I, I think it's not such a big uh, thing, you know, like that uh, you cannot last uh, without uh, meat. And uh, uh, I think you may feel so good after these 10 days that you may uh, choose for uh, more often. Uh, yes, feed these uh, uh, little children and uh, have nice meal with these folks. So that's it. Uh, so that's about the food, but there are, yes, uh, many other aspects how you can actually love yourself better by making these choices, because mm. yes, when those kids uh, are eating with you, it's like you feel good about yourself, you can be proud of yourself, mm. and uh, what I'm saying always, like, be proud of yourself, now and always, and yes, mm -hmm. uh, live this life to, yes, to always be like this. Mm. I think most people watching this, you're already awakened. You know, you wouldn't be watching this if you're not on your spiritual path or or have um, a um, an awareness or a um, a liking to the spirituality of life and and looking for an alternative way. And tantra is not a religion. It's not a religion. It's just a way of a, a way of being it's it like I said it's in a consciousness when you open consciousness to yourself when you open your heart to your world when you bring 
because um, you know most people that are watching this they you know that there's more to life than just normal nine to five work M more to to life than um, you know um, whatever you're doing you know there's magic there's um, other things going on in the world and, and um, this retreat is all about that to come back to self to come back to nature to come back to the real you the real the real world yeah the real world it's it's more the new world or the the awakening the stirring that's going on in the world right now and, and um, Danguala has put this retreat on to bring this awareness, this awakening, this shift, this crack, this opening. After all the shit, the last couple of, what, the last three years, COVID, war, um, what else is going on? Um, we know we're shifting, we're, we're moving. And um, yeah, this retreat is all about that to come together and unite um, together to learn. Uh, to gather, to be in ceremony, um, to come back home to self. Yeah. yeah. One of uh, one of the owners of Poyota Land. Mm -hmm. There are three witches, as I say. Yeah. It's me, uh, my sister Kriste, Kristina, and also Gintare. So Gintare told me, yes, it's very important this retreat because look, we had COVID, we have now war. We didn't release nothing. We mm. were suspended somehow in some bubble. And in these three or four, I don't know, years, we just hold it, everything. Mm. Just hold it. It's so important one day to release everything. Yeah. So uh, Tantra, yes, is all about pleasure, but also it's all about that that's to reach that pleasure. First, we need to release something What what is like blocking it. Mm. So. I think in this uh, world now, in Lithuania, it's very, very important to release all these things, what we had in COVID, in war and everything, uh, which, which is blocking for us to have a pleasure of life, no? Ple not pleasure of sex, but pleasure of all life. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so I think the, the, the main thing what is blocking uh, people to come to the retreat is a fear. A fear to meet yourself, mm -hmm. a fear to meet other people, to mm -hmm. maybe lose the energy because it's a lot of about this. If I'm going to the Tantra retreat, I will lose the energy. People says that. Yeah. People say that. So how mm -hmm. to save your own energy? One question. Uh, and another question in parallel how to deal with the fear. What is the fear? Why? How to deal with it? How to deal with what? With the fear. Oh, fear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so, think, I, I, I just quickly, I, Tantra, when you really break it down, Tantra is all about self. We can't connect in with anybody in this world unless we really truly connect in to ourselves until we know thy self we need to connect into us we need to know who we are what we want um, and so tantra is all about that it's all about connecting in and, and until you um, connect into that part or that portal of you then we start to shift our connections you know they're like um i think i was saying on the last live it's like um mushroom roots you know that, those connections the mushrooms go in and connect into the root system but our connection on 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 the everyday our connection to people plants animals life it, it is um this um connection field and and when we really start to connect into self and be conscious be aware and, and spark that portal within us then we start to reconnect into the real world or our real world and what we truly truly want um, so tantra don't fear tantra that you have to come to a workshop and you have to connect in with um, people and do uncomfortable um, uncomfortable things because that's what makes me 
uh, Carpenter is like, oh, I have to be forced to be with this person and do this and do that. Tantra is not that. It's, it's not that. It, it is more about connecting in with self. You, you, you need to connect in with self. So it's a real self-discovery. It, it truly is. And it's about a discovery over your lifetime and um, seeing your potential. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful said. Thank yeah. you, Trish. So yes, I would like to say a few things. Yes, we guide you actually uh, at this retreat uh, definitely how to protect yourself. And one of the main um, guidelines uh, what uh, uh, is uh, in the tantra workshops is that you don't have to do everything at the tantric workshops. Mm -hmm. So you are fully yourself. And yes, uh, um, you know, it's uh, of course. Uh, uh, you can uh, be afraid that you will lose the energy, but the reality, it shows me completely opposite. Uh, when I see the faces uh, of the people, uh, when I feel their energy after the workshop, usually they are coming like, yes, with this a little bit of fear, oh, what I have to do, uh, do I have to connect with that person or whatever, they are very nervous and so on. But they, and sometimes they go through some of the challenges uh, for themselves, but uh, yes, uh, they are in full control, uh, that they can always slow down uh, or even stop. Uh, so, 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 uh, and uh, uh, after they go through it, they, uh, I, li I love to guide them in the way that they feel very happy about going through these challenges going through these liberations and when they release all this uh, stuff what was bothering them at the beginning these fears and whatever their uh, face is relaxed uh, in, uh, they always say beautiful words in the sharing that oh they're very thankful and gratitude and whatever but also their face is glowing full of energy full of like uh, they connecting uh, uh, with themselves but also with other people so, so it's like um, it's um, but yes also I want to say to you like yeah you don't have to believe me I give you now right now a little bit of proof yes it's um, just uh, if you have a partner that's best to do it with your partner uh, and uh, just uh, look into each other eyes for uh, longer than one minute and uh, yes uh, uh, if you are with the uh, friend, then you can just uh, repeat uh, in your head the mantra uh, you like me, but if you are with uh, your lover one, uh, you repeat uh, uh, you love me. Just in your head, silently. Uh, what about if you're by yourself? By yourself? If you're by yourself, yeah. you can also say uh, uh, or, I love myself or you love me. Look into the mirror and uh, do it. Uh, with yourself and that's you know like you do it for one minute uh, you know like you connect on the soul level and uh, then you can feel already something and this what we would go slowly bit by bit opening the connection within yourself with your soul uh, with your partner and uh, yes we would feel it we would go through experiences and so so uh, Another thing what I like you to give you some practice, you know, I like to give you some taste. Uh, give each other a hug, but not Donald Duck hug that you are, your back is uh, uh, far away from each other. Just melting hug. You don't squeeze each other, uh, you don't force each other to each other, but just uh, soft melting hug. You can give it to yourself also, you know, like this, uh, if you are yourself, and just, just give the, the, the love, you know, like feel your breath and just connect with yourself. If you are with your partner, just like, uh, yes, and uh, uh, stay like this uh, in this melting hug for another uh, longer than one minute. After 30 seconds, usually the magic starts to work for you. And that's very, you know, like uh, you can also bring it uh, to the science already. You know, like your happy hormone, the oxytocin start to be produced. And other hormones uh, also are start to be produced. Uh, they give you the health, they give you the uh, uh, happiness. They feel you, uh, uh, they make the connection with the other person. Uh, mm -hmm. They uh, bring you feeling the security and comfort. Uh, there are no better remedies than love uh, and basically yes in tantra we use all those powers yes 
So yes, uh, you don't believe me? Just do this after this live and uh, uh, come tomorrow. We do the uh, little taster uh, uh, in the park, in the nature. We're gonna connect with ourselves, with nature, with uh, uh, our partners, uh, and you know, like we're gonna celebrate uh, basically the tantra a lot. And then yes, I wish uh, uh, we, this will convince you. If you're not uh, convinced, uh, to come to our uh, three days or even uh, eight days uh, celebration uh, in beautiful land, uh, new land. It's a very special retreat uh, uh, because yes, three witches, beautiful uh, witches, goddesses are opening beautiful portal uh, here uh, near uh, Vilnius in nature in. Uh, uh, Lithuania in uh, like Payota is called so you it's feeling it's uh, the name in, uh, not, uh, what brought them to actually the place uh, you can also maybe say this beautiful story about this and yes uh, it's gonna be first retreat uh, of it uh, so we feel very honored to like uh, opening the space we're gonna uh, yes uh, do some beautiful celebrations uh, it's a special time Probably this place would serve the humanity for a long time, so you can be on this one of the first step. Uh, uh, we invite you. It's uh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm well so for... glad that uh, we will open together it uh, because Michal is the person who brought me to the Tantra path, and now the Tantra land, Payota land. Uh, will be opened by Michael and Trisha. It's like circulation, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, it's magic. It's magic. It's magic. It's completely magic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just uh, the, the gods are holding this land. I feel that. Uh, when I was leading in the Yoninus uh, celebration, the, um, the angel walk, I felt that I'm leading not alone. Mm. Something is around, somebody is around. So it's really a strong place and uh, I really want you to, to, to feel that land, to feel the energy. We are going tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, one more question for like, for, for maybe it's the last question. And maybe I will also look for questions of people. If they have, you can write down. Um, people always are looking the mate, mate of love. And uh, a little bit of personal story I want. Not about Tantra, but about your personal story. How did you met? And uh, is it possible to meet a person in a Tantra <laughs> retreat or you met uh, on Tinder maybe? Or you mm. have met in the sky somewhere and you, you feel that it's not a first life, you are together. So tell us a little bit about it because personal stories are always connecting people. Made yes, please. <laughs> well, <laughs> two years ago we have two years anniversary. Yeah, right, kind of now, like yesterday, where was happening. But yes, uh... I um, it was funny. I was living in Australia. Mihal was living in um, Popangang, Thailand. And funny enough, I I will say to the world, I I did a love spell, and I two weeks before I met Mihal. <laughs> And I called in my soulmate, Twin Flame, and I, I said, yep, I'm ready. All of a sudden, COVID hit, and I bought a ticket to Thailand, and I don't know why, but I was guided. I had a tour to Egypt, and, and all the Egyptian gates, borders were closed, and um, my tour had to be postponed, but I needed to go somewhere. So I bought a ticket to Egypt, uh, to Thailand. And I think a couple of days later, I came across um, the retreat and um, me and Michal connected. But it wasn't the right timing, um, but we connected. And we connected a few months later um, and an ecstatic dance. <laughs> and we looked at each other and, mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. and, and um, connected in. Um, 
but the first, but the first time we connected in, it wasn't the right timing. Mm -hmm. I think we yeah. we ended up going to different partners and learning whatever we needed to learn, mm -hmm. and then came back in, and um, and connected, and and we've been. Yeah, on the journey. Since yeah, that's my story yes, anyway. It's two, two years in Copangan, it's yeah. like uh, almost yeah. like 10 years in normal life, <laughs> especially when you are in Tantra, yeah. into conscious relationship. Uh, uh, like yes, uh, the, every day is meaningful. So, yes, yeah. uh, if we look back, it was like, oh, so many things happened. Uh, and I think, uh, I think at the time, too, you um, just before ecstatic dance, you did a ritual. And you called in your lifetime partner. Yes. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So we there was some mad like something going on behind the scenes, but we yeah, I think I wouldn't I, I've never lived overseas and um, something drew me to live overseas. Copan Gang left my home, my career, my family, everything. Love and didn't hear for love. I, I was going on the search for love, but love for myself, but love, yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful, yes, <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, let's do some uh, magic, uh, yeah. so um, uh, we want to guide you, like, uh, into the uh, Tantra Kriya <laughs> Yoga Breath, uh, Yes, the magic is happening. Uh, yeah, yeah. So rain uh, is starting, I uh, think. So we can go straight to the practice, yes. maybe. Yeah, yeah. And so also you before, can, yeah, yeah. before the yes, practice, hey. I want to say that uh, information about our retreat you can find on. Uh, we have two cameras, so uh, Tantra Movement events. So go to events on Tantra Movement on Facebook or Instagram My Beer or my Dangwale Tantra Path uh, page on Facebook, also events. Uh, event calls uh, Tantra Retreat Payota. And uh, also I want to mention that if you are coming together, both uh, with your friend or with your partner, with your sister, whatever, you can uh, have a cheaper ticket, you can find information on the event. And also don't be shy to write us, to text us, if you don't have any money or you have less or something, we just want you to be there. If you feel that you have to be here, just text us and we will find the way how you are coming. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't matter nothing. Mm -hmm. Mikkel and Trisha are here. The land is opening. We really want to have uh, all the people who really needs that now. So if you feel that you really need to be here with us, in Payota, in Tantra Retreat, just please text us with any conditions you are now, okay? We're calling you in. <laughs> We're calling you in. And Spirit, Great Spirit is calling you in too. So if you really want to um, have some magic over the next week and really um, open your eyes to your path and to the magic that you are, come. Um, yeah, that's same um, And the yeah. practice, yes? Yes, Maybe. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we ha can stand up, uh, my niece, I don't know how about your... Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, like, we can do it uh, to do it... Um, uh, um, with uh, us, uh, me and Trish, and you can stand behind and look at both of us, uh, hold the space for us, for us as a couple. So we look into each other's eyes, uh, uh, we smile, we send beautiful energy, and uh, we do few things. Uh, so, uh, uh, yes, uh, we breathe all the time through our mouth. Uh, with the tongue, you touch the palate uh, two, three centimeters behind the uh, teeth. And uh, with the breathing, you uh, shift your pelvis up and front. With the breath out, you uh, move it backward. Breathe in, up and front, breathe out, backward. And uh, uh, then the other things, uh, uh, when you breathe in, you tight your PC muscle. When you breathe out, you relax your PC muscle. So PC muscle is the muscle what you use to stop uh, peeing. So now you just imagine what uh, 
muscles you would uh, use to stop peeing uh, and when you breathe in you uh, tighten it, when you breathe out you relax it. Uh, and yes, we do uh, uh, the Tantra Kriya Yoga breath, uh, so we breathe, uh, uh, follow my breath, breathe together. If you are with yourself, just uh, then uh, you uh, look into the mirror, uh, or if you are like three, uh, uh, you know, like then one person can hold the space and look at us, yes? So we breathe all together, follow my breath, uh, so you breathe uh, together with us. And we breathe faster, 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 faster. And then when we, uh, when I say tight, then you tight all your muscles, especially the PC muscle. And you hold the breath for a while, as long as it feels comfortable. Don't do overdo because uh, you may faint. So, and this we don't want. So uh, listen your body much better than my instruction. It's not competition. So with the breathing, Tightening the PC muscle, with the breath out, relaxing the PC muscle, uh, looking into each other's eyes, smiling, sending nice energy, breathing all the time through your mouth. And when you hold the breath first time, you imagine yourself as a happy being. When you hold the breath second time, you imagine Mother Earth as a happy place. And third time, uh, you send energy to someone who you love it, or uh, someone who needs it. Maybe it's some uh, hungry child in Africa or maybe someone in your family. So, uh, yes, uh, that's the magic. Uh, so, uh, yes, you can hold each other palms or you can also go into the melting heart if you are closer with each other. So, um, yes, we do it all together. Just improvise. If uh, some detail doesn't work, in all together it will work. You can watch this live again and again to get the instruction right uh, and practice. Uh, uh, so, yes. Ah. Slowly come back to your natural breath. Keep smiling, keep uh, looking. Feel, send this beautiful energy. Mm. And then we can say namaste to each other, what means uh, I honor you as I honor myself. So yes, I honor you as I honor myself uh, to all of you. Thank you for beautiful uh, um, life together. Uh, 
I wish to see you live, uh, more live tomorrow in the park and then uh, at the retreat. Yes. Yes. So about tomorrow, we meet on uh, at the Stalo Kalnas. Uh, Stalo Kalnas is Kalnu uh, Parke. Who are uh, watching in Lithuania? So Kalnu Parke uh, on Stalo Kalnas. Uh, we meet at seven o'clock. It's a free workshop. You can just donate for our food and fuel <laughs> if you want we will have a magic box but uh, it's completely free if you want you can come uh, to meet the energy live and maybe decide if you want to come to the retreat or maybe just to feel the energy and uh, to have this pre-tantra introduction to tantra with amazing teachers who are now in lithuania it's a big thing i would come even from Klaipeda or Konas uh, or other cities because it's really a good opportunity to meet uh, Michal live. Uh, three years uh, we were locked down so now we can hug each other to feel our each other eyes and to meet live Stalo Kalnas, Kalnu Parkas, Ritoi, Devinolikta Vanda who wants to uh, repeat all the live we will save for later and you can watch it uh, again from the beginning so thank you so much nice yes. to have you yes <laughs> <laughs> and we are going now to Poyota to have sauna and uh, yes. beautiful fire and we are waiting for you tomorrow and Friday also yeah question yeah. as well it's also tomorrow uh, as well yeah bring your questions in the circle <laughs> yeah. Aho. 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 Achoo. <laughs> mm -hmm.